Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Ryan Moran. I'm the head coach at uh, UMBC for our men's lacrosse program. Um, we we'll going through some drills for coaching through cancellation. Uh, I want to start off by thanking Coach Shamadi for the idea of putting this together. I know I've uh, really enjoyed watching all the videos that are uploaded, um, getting some stuff out of it for sure. Um, hopefully, the drills that I go through with you today, you'll be able to use, utilize your own programs and teams at some point. Um, for this presentation, I'm using Zoom right now, so I'm self-recording a meeting with myself. Um, I've been able to use Zoom with my team a lot right now, and I've been found it really helpful. Um, it only gives you one take, though, so hopefully I'll be as clean and clear as I can possibly be. Um, right now, I'm going to share that screen with everyone. Uh, we're going to kind of go through uh, a presentation. Um, that I put together. Here we go. So, yep, so this is our first drill, seven line drill. Um, in this drill, you know, when you're, when you're making your practice plan, it, it's, it's a drill that it's going to give a lot of energy. So, uh, we generally try to organize our practice plan where we're hitting on different areas of individual development and then obviously schematic development and then having some drills where the guys can compete, have a lot of energy, and have some fun with it. So, this is definitely an energy drill, and you get a little bit of everything. Uh, you're going to see some two-man offense and defense. You're going to see defending scramble and, and scramble situations. Uh, you get end-line restarts. You get uh, communication in terms of uh, matching up because there will be an all-even component to it. And then you also get some conditioning, and you, you can make it as competitive as you want. Um, here is how the drill is set up. Um, you're going to have uh, four offensive lines. Those are the guys in those lines in black. You're going to have three uh, defensive lines. Those are in yellow. Uh, you can be flexible with that personnel. You can have an offense versus defense. You can have some omitties playing defense, some, some long sticks playing offense, however you want to organize it. Uh, coach is going to have balls in the middle. Uh, and um, right there, that's Coach Chick. He's our, uh, one of our assistant coaches. So he usually in this drill is a guy throwing balls out. And he's going to throw it to those offensive lines that are closest to the sideline, either uh, to the left or to the right there. And you're going to want to have balls on the end line as well. Uh, ball gets thrown in, and, you know, you're going to play out a 4v3 situation any way you want. Uh, we'll go through uh, just how we, how we go through it. But uh, that ball's going to get thrown in, and when that happens, those defensive players are going to be kind of getting in, and the four offensive players in black are going to be getting in. Um, and then if there's a shot, um, if there's a goal or a shot wide, we play it to a 4v4. So it, it really gets reps for the offensive guys getting quick restarts off the end line, sprint and pick up the ball, which you'll see we don't do a great job in some of this practice film that we have. Uh, and then it also helps because we'll release a defender in, and then we got to mark up. we got to match up. we got to recognize um, what our matchups are. Is it a picking situation below goal line, or do we have advantage with that matchup below goal line? Uh, so it really makes the players have to think and play in the gray and communicate in that gray area as well. And then after that second shot, or, or if there's a turnover, or whatever it may be, you're going to want to be communicating to those players that are on the field to, to get to the sideline, the closest sideline they're out, to kind of refilter back up into those lines so we can get the next rep going as quickly as possible. Some Just some keys, some offensive keys, uh, communication, huge component of it. Uh, we play this first 4v3 like it was a four-on-four. Four. I think it helps us a little bit with our tip of the spear play with two-man games, uh, picking. Uh, and slipping, and then we also have a, a offside component where we uh, cut a far guy in and have another guy be in that skip. That also translates into similar things that we do in our settled offense, so I think it helps kind of see those looks a little bit, a little bit cleaner. Uh, and then um, off the end line, just recognizing matchups, maybe getting into some big little situations off the end line. Uh, defensively, certainly want to be communicating. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're certainly not in a, a – situation of advantage in that 4v3 to start off, which you'll see. Um, but, it, you know, being at that disadvantage helps you because uh, in terms of if you had the extra guy, you can defend it with three. You certainly are going to be in a better position to be defending at four. But it, it helps that ball side communication, uh, communicating through that two-man game. And then that offside, you know, covering that cut and then maybe having to bounce back out some of those skips. Um, and then sprinting in and matching up just like as if like a substitution game. You know, when we get to that 4v4, sprinting in, trying to get the best matchup and certainly being prepared for maybe some big little situations uh, off the end line. We're going to go into some practice film here. Um, okay, so here's seven line. 
in, in effect so that you can see coach threw it to a line. We're coming in. And right now we have two guys here where we're going to have a big little play in some capacity. And these two guys on the back end, one's going to be cutting in. I think it's this young man here. This player is going to be cutting in. And the other guy is going to be hunting the skip. So that happens. A lot of pressure on this guy. He's got to cover that cut. Also wants to try and get in the skip lane. Right now we're trying to maintain that matchup on our pick play here. Gets through. We end up getting a shot off. Okay, there's a shot, and then instantly get to that end line. We should be getting there with more urgency than we are right now. Um, so now we got a four v four. Got some sort of pick play off the end line right here again. Um, boom, drill ends. Get those guys to the sideline. Get another ball going. Get another ball going. Now we go to the other side again. Same similar situation. And there's some pick play there. Good job by the defense snapping back. Skip gets through, got to play the ball, got to get in, cover this guy up. Let's see if we do that. Kind of have a miscommunication there. There's a shot or a goal, end line right away, quick end line. You can see this guy getting in, communicating, communicating who we got to match up with. Poor play here. You know, at this point, we should be even looking to cut through, create some space for our defender or pick down. Again, those are those great situations that we have. Defender right now is doing a good job kind of being a deterrent to the dodge, but knowing he can snap back out if, if that pass goes there, which he does. Good on-ball pressure. There's a really good rep by our D, not giving up the middle field, kind of clearing through with our head down, not being a, a receiver. So some, some poor fundamentals on off-ball play with the offense right there. Good job by the D for sure. Getting those guys to the sideline. Next rep as quickly as we can get it. Yeah, the ball hits the deck. Try and get it up the field as quickly as you can. Run it out. If you don't get a shot, you don't get a goal. You don't get an end line situation. So we'll probably watch one more here. Get the pick play coming. Nothing's there. Probably want to cut with a little bit more urgency. Drag this guy down, open up this big skip. Great job subbing in. Right now, if this guy's smart, he can recognize me. If I got a short, I could sprint behind there to get some sort of big little pick. Don't think we get that in this rep, though. We don't have the audio. If it starts to get a little stagnant, I start counting down by, by five. I'll say five, four, three, two, one. Makes them have to play a little quicker. Simulates the end of a shot clock. So we'll kind of end it there. So that's uh, one of the drills we use, uh, an energy drill. Um, again, if you guys, I appreciate you watching the drill. If you have any questions, my email is down there below. Um, so you can email me for any questions that you have. Uh, and I appreciate you all, appreciate you all listening. I gotta figure out how to stop the meeting. <laughs> all right. Stop share. And.